could be knitting a sweater and watching your grandchildren play tennis or basketball. Folks, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Here we talk about all things Southern Utah and all things real estate. In today's video, we're taking you on a tour of a parade home number 28, Manor of Happiness. It is built by R.L. Wayman. And if you had to see just one home in the parade of homes, this would be it. This would be enough to blow anybody's mind. This property is 17,303 square feet. It has seven bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, three floors and two garages, which we are yet to see this property. So I don't know what two garages means, but this is the, the car park, the, just the driveway kind of goes forever. Can't wait to see this home. Let's go check it out. This is Grand Entry. It's got a horseshoe driveway. I got one of these, thank you. Folks, I realize that this tour may be a little bit tough to follow, partly because of the flow of the Parade of Homes. It's hard to capture the whole experience and this home is absolutely massive. And partly because some of the stuff was just missed during filming. So I will try to aid you as much as I can with the floor plans for each floor as we go along. This is a pretty sweet guest suite. This home smells really good too. I wish you guys, there was a way for me to, to share the smell. Under cabinet lighting is awesome too. Thank you. It's a really grand feel. That is a proper piano room. self-playing piano. Super classy touch. This grand entry. Let's check out the craft room while we're at it. I was about to say this craft room is about the size of my Chicago apartment. <laughs> but wait, it's a full-size basketball court. You'd be knitting a sweater, and watching your grandchildren play tennis or basketball. Massive dining room, and there's so much to take in in this home. It's incredible. I love all the dark accents and all the high contrast and finishes. What do you think about that accent wall? Wish we could. <laughs> Cream machine, and it is not out of order. 
panel wolf bridge. It's the same paneling that you see across the room over there on the TV wall. It's incredible. Let's check out this butler pantry. Oh man. This butler pantry also continues to just go forever. And the ice cream machine actually tucks away into the butler pantry and it has the actuating doors. As you push it back, the doors go forward and lock it. Take a closer look over here. There's so much room to entertain in this home. So it's another living room area that opens up to the basketball court down below. And we go around and check out all the interior space first. It's the laundry chute. <laughs> That's probably by far one of the most impressive laundry rooms I have ever seen. You just bring your own laundry down that chute. This must be the master suite that opens to the pool. This is a proper, proper master suite. I guess you could use this as a study or dressing. It has a stackable set in it too. It's a cute little set. <laughs> so you'll probably see in this video people demoing this but this frosted glass has a clap on, clap off feature. Wow. Now you see it, now you don't. Look the size of it right here. So you've got a rainfall shower and then one, two, three, three more shower heads. Does this one clap on and clap off? Yeah. Is it annoying to demo it all day? Is it annoying no, to demo it all day? It's sweet. Even the throne room is fancy. It's got the golden ribbon. Do you want to go outside? Yeah. Take a look at this exterior space. It's incredible. There's this non-slip tile that makes up probably 50 to 60 percent of this landscaping. Fire and water together. Awesome black rock slide and a swing over this pool. Oh, yeah. 
just enough grass for the dog. And a massive back wall for privacy. I really love that a lot of builders switch to these gray style of uh, back walls because if the house is mainly black and white and gray, having an orange block wall is not the most sightly thing. So this is awesome. watching this video because you're considering building a luxury custom home in Southern Utah, do not hesitate to reach out to us. We have amazing relationships with a lot of custom home builders, developers, pool builders, and pretty much every sub of every trade in between. So if you're thinking about getting into a home similar to any of the homes that you see in this incredible collection of Parade of Homes videos, reach out to us, we'll put you in contact with the right people to make that dream a reality. We'll take you all the way downstairs to the basketball court. And it's just a, just a powder that's accessible from either downstairs or right from the pool. By the way, guys, I will timestamp this video. This house is so massive. It's three levels, 17,000 square feet. So I'll timestamp it throughout so it's easier for you to view it so you can actually skip to the section of the home that you'd like to see. So we'll do exterior, downstairs, upstairs, pool. Um, there'll be time step in the description below. Sink. That sink is the size of a trough. That's so cool. And the vertical lines for backsplash look incredible. You can set things to either the first level or the second level. Let's head to the basement. We'll check out the ground floor of this property. Check out this downstairs bath. This is an incredible floating vanity. Sick panty tile. Some vertical, um, vertical backsplash and floor to ceiling tile in the shower. What are you guys filming for? Filming for our YouTube channel. We have a Southern Utah real estate YouTube channel. If you just look up Southern Utah real estate, you'll see. the night room. That's so cool. It's a full armor set. You never know. When some you really gotta... cool stone detail in those window wells. Those window wells never look this good. This is such a cool little touch like um, concrete stamping for that kind of stuff, uh, this is perfect. Sweet, we finally found a vault room. It's big enough. This is like a, an actual storage room, so I would imagine you could vault that as well if you wanted to, but check out the size of this room. This is like a garage bay. And this vault room, has its own AC unit. Take a look at that. So you could, you could do climate control just for this room for whatever you're storing in it. That's incredible. I've never actually seen a mini split inside of a vault room. I don't think I have either. More wiring than half the office buildings in town. Yeah, that's incredible. Was that it? How do we access the basketball court, I wonder? There must be another access to the basement. I haven't seen it yet. Or maybe not, maybe it's just locked away. It must be. Let's go upstairs. The 
This is the laundry slide. And they're pretty serious about you not messing with it. <laughs> Perfect kids' bedroom. It's got the Marvel theme throughout, but it's still classy. It's still black and white. This room has the hidden uh, kid compartment. Oh man, I shouldn't have trained legs earlier. You can almost stand up in here. Hide your valuables, hide your kids. <laughs> the things I do for this channel. That's why they pay the big bucks, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, excuse me. Take a look at this hallway bath. Absolutely love all the floating vanities that we see this here. easy to get lost in this house. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> this is a perfect house to play hide and seek. This is a little game room area. It opens up all the way to the front. If you had a billion grandkids, this house is perfect. Yeah, I would agree. It is definitely built to entertain crowds. There's another kid's bedroom, which is proper. It's perfect to have kids' bedrooms upstairs because you know if they're making noise as they're moving. They're probably not getting in trouble it's when they get quiet. So this one's got the Grand Prix theme. It's a nice little study area. And it has a closet finished in black. It does not have an ensuite. It's a cool little sitting area. Look at all the detail. I think there's more wallpaper on this wall. The wallpaper is back in. How you doing? Check out this hangout informal theater room. Has some in-ground speaker and ground and ceiling speakers. I really like those fuzzy ottomans. Their interior designer did a great job. how well this floor plan flows for such a massive, massive house. So there's another bedroom up here. This one has an ensuite. It has its own climate zone too. It's got a thermostat. I've been noticing that a lot of the bedrooms in this house are on their own climate zones. <clears throat> Rex, take a look at this flooring. I really like the cobblestone feel. And then it ties in nicely with the shower tile. <clears throat> Just the perfect neutral color combination throughout. It's got a soaking tub, shower combo. Do you think they've got one of those in air system sensey things? That's probably what it is. Well, those were brand new last year. We actually uh, promoted this in one of our earlier videos and I'll, I'll post our affiliate link below uh, for the whole, <coughs> excuse me, whole home scenting system. We have one and it works incredible. It just pumps the scent through the central HVAC system and then you have perfectly uniformly great smelling home. But I would imagine that it has to be a massive system for, for the size of this home. Well, the nice thing about it is you don't ever have a room that just smells too strong. It's yeah. nice and balanced. It's even, it just comes out through the vents. 
This is an upstairs master suite. So it has a really good size ensuite bath. What is going on here? So it's got a dual vanity, a nice soaking tub. So it's a master and a Jack and Jill? Uh, so I'm trying to figure out. So really the master, the true master is downstairs, but this is still beautiful. Got a window that opens right next to a tub. Some really nice built-ins. This house has the coolest combination of black and white and brown. These colors have been really in this year uh, with a lot of navy, uh, navy accents that kind of flow that same simple, elegant theme. This is actually a Jack and Jill with another massive suite. And what's really cool about this room, if you look up, the ceilings have a darker tone and typically darker ceilings would mean a darker room, but it has a massive window. So it's just perfectly evenly lit. It has a really nice cozy feel. Good size closet. Well, let's head back downstairs. Check out the funky wallpaper in this bathroom. This whole set is so cool. This home is very visually stimulating. I feel like every time you enter a new room, it's like a visual experience. It's true. Yeah. And even though the things change, they stay consistent with the palette. Yeah, yeah very it's much fascinating. So. Head to the basement. Let's check out the basketball court. This is sweet, sweet lighting. This light is actually built into that shelf. It's a really cool detail. Look at all the backsplash in this house too. There is an elevator in case if you just outdid yourself and done it a little too hard at the gym. The yoga room. Awesome in ceiling sound system, its own uh, mini splits so you can control the temperature in this room. If you want to do hot yoga, you can crank it up as hot as you want. Basketball court right behind us. And if you really push yourself to the limit and your legs just cannot function after your workout. There's an elevator that'll take you to wherever you need to go. It's another bath. A massive walk-in shower, floating vanity, 
really cool modern looking lights. Let's go check out the garage. I was actually really excited about this part. Look at the size of this garage. It's massive. Like if you would imagine this space without all the vendors in here, you could park, I think it's said in the description about a 10 car garage. Although that, that part's been very confusing. Once I find more info, I'll, I'll post it in the description below this video to give you guys uh, an exact idea of how many cars you could park in this space. What would you do? What would you park here? Comment below. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video. This house blew our minds. I hope that you liked it as well. If you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend, give it a thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so you don't miss any of our future content. Here we talk about living, playing, and working in Southern Utah, as well as all things real estate. And if you're in a market for a home just like this, give me a call. My contact information is in the description below this video. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. One piece of feedback that we often receive from our viewers is that there aren't a lot of these ultra luxury homes that are ever listed on our MLS. Well, it's because a lot of these home builders build these homes to suit and they're all custom builds. They're built specifically for owners. And if you're thinking about getting into something like that, we have a great relationship with a lot of developers that own these massive acre plus lots and lots of custom home builders, please do not hesitate to reach out to us to get started in this exciting journey. And now YouTube algorithm will pop up a couple of videos that may be also useful for you. Enjoy, be sure to subscribe.